Hello, today with Crafting with Shay, we're going to be making flower pins. Almost everything here on my craft table I've purchased from the Dollar Tree, except for the pins. I got them elsewhere. You can find somewhere else to get the pins, or you can get them at the Dollar Tree. We're going to start our craft today by cutting the stem off of the this flower. Um, you're just going to go and get your flower cutters and cut the stem. If you don't have uh, flower cutters, wire cutters may help. You may not need the flower or wire cutters. And the reason why is I'm going to show you in a minute. This flower, when I cut it, you know, of course, it's shorter. But up here, as you can see, the stem of the flower is really, really short. This flower right here has a really long one. So I can be able just to pull this off. So you put a little, you know, elbow grease in there and you pull it off. And make sure you take the green part too. And if you need to, make sure you pinch that green part as you pull it off so you don't yank the flower petals off. And as you can see, this one right here is really short compared to our purple flower. And that's why I chose to cut these. So again, the flower cutters are optional. We are going to start today with a pin because I do want colorful pins. And so take the top off your pin. We're actually going to work from the top of our pin to the bottom of our pin. You're going to go ahead and get your floral tape. And this is when we'll start. Floral tape is not very sticky. So whenever you, to make it sticky, quote unquote, you have to hold it on there and pull it just a little bit as you twirl it around the pin or whatever object you're using. And so you're going to twirl, twirl, twirl this. And I can tell that I'm pulling it tight enough because when I don't pull it tight enough, this part up here is a light green color versus that dark green color. So I'm going to take it down a little bit and I'm going to you know, pull and twirl. Don't cover up the whole pin. We're gonna start. We're gonna stop when we have a, a little bit of space left towards the bottom of our pin. And so don't cut it yet. Just set your pin down. And this part right here is for our beginner crafters. If you don't need this, you could just you don't need the tape. But some people do, and it's okay. So get a little bit of scotch tape. And what I'm gonna do with the scotch tape is actually tape my flower to the end of my pin. And so, so this will make it a little bit more sturdier and it helps, you know, our friends who are unable to hold the flower and twirl at the same time, you don't have to do that. So again, this tape is optional and it's only if you need it. Okay. So let's put a little tape here. And once we get this tape on, we're going to continue to put the floral tape on our pin. So let's get that floral tape on the pin. Here we go. And remember to continue to pull. And we're going to get that all the way to the end. Okay. And so once we get towards the end, we're actually going to get some scissors to cut. We're going to get some scissors to cut the floral tape. I wouldn't really suggest breaking it off. I would suggest to actually get some scissors and cut it because it looks a lot neater. And at this time, you know, this is a pin that's going to stay on your desk for a while because it's going to stay the lifetime of this pin unless you know of course the pin goes out um if the pin goes out all you need to do is take the flower off the pin toss the rest of the pin away and redo everything and you still have flowers and so thank you for crafting with me here's our flowers they're gorgeous they're beautiful and again happy crafting